Hi all, Charlie again and this time I have a beer from Ducat Brewing Company, it's called Couple Kindness and I'm sure those of you from every part of the, this beautiful planet will understand the words Couple Kindness as being with, contained within the lyrics of Old Lang Syne, a song by Brother Robert Burns and we we sing it at every, every new year. Ong Lang Syne will take a cup of kindness yet for the sake of Ong Lang Syne. So Ducat, it's a brewery in the, the south side of Glasgow and this is their New Year's beer. It's vegan friendly, it's unfiltered and it contains as part of the, the ingredients oats and spelt as well as barley. So typically, typically a beer contains barley malt, but this one also contains other grains, namely oats and spelt. Provides the carbohydrate which the, the yeast acts upon to, to push out ethanol and fart out carbon dioxide. And so it's a, um, let's see, so earlier on, it's 5% alcohol and it's described as a kvik golden ale. Now I'm getting to go and look up what kvik means. Um, it's one it's one of these sort of more sort of, um, modern styles of beer. He said looking for the magnetic bottle opener around the side of the, the table leg. Bought this one a few days ago in Valhalla's Goat in the West End of Glasgow. I suppose I should hold up the bottle for you get a look at the Duke logo. And it cost me three pounds sixty five for this wee the three three thirty ml bottle. I've mentioned before that I don't mind paying premium price for a premium quality product. I do object to paying premium price and getting something that's not really very good. There's a difference between premium product and pre that I like and premium product that I don't like. So anyway, let's see how. Um, cup of kindness looks we pour it in a wee glass of empty Zikovets glass obviously empty there and it should fit just nice oh, lovely head to it as you can see I've poured it a wee bit quick 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 not quite the same thing So what have we got on the bottle? We've got what looks like a stag, um, a couple of flowers of some sort, and the sun at the centre. Just leave that one hanging. So um, I mentioned before, this is I think this is the third, maybe the fourth, um, Duke that I've, that I've had. It's a uh, he, one of the lad, the, the brewer from Ducat works in Valhalla's goats. Um, but you see, I know he's he's planning a few more beers over the over the course of 2023 and hopefully ongoing. And so I look forward to to trying them as they as they come out. If nothing else, it'll give me a wee excuse to get back up to Valhalla's goat and buy a, buy a few more other beers as time goes on. You, you honestly ought to get in and get a wee, get a wee look around this shop. It's absolutely amazing. There's, there must be, there must be not, you know, in for 800, 1,000 beers. Maybe they'll be on and tell in the, in the comments. Anyway, a cup of kindness. Here's to you and yours. Happy New Year. Well, that's easy going. You could sit and drink a lot of this. What did we say, 5%? Ah, no particularly strong. Yes, you could sit and drink a lot of this. It's nice, easy going. It's a lot easier to drink than most of the sort of commercial Euro lagers that um, pollute, uh, sorry, pollute's not a fair word, that, um, that we can get easily in pubs in Glasgow. I'd rather we were able to get more beers like this rather than mass-produced Euro lagers. 